folks and welcome to this brand new episode of the Rochester Indie Musician Spotlight, Rochester's premier music and interview show. We're counting down to 50 regularly scheduled episodes this season and it's the biggest set with the biggest names, the most sponsors, and the most support from the community as well. This is the seventh episode of this season and number 44 overall, you know we're doing the countdown to 50 sort of thing. And joining us today is folk rock band Grand Canyon Rescue episode. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Tom a round of applause. And this episode was mixed by owner and operator of Wicked Squid Studios, Josh Pettinger. Please visit their website to find out how you can become a member of their studio today. This episode is brought to you by Bob Shop Records, Bernunzio Uptown Music, Row Photo, and Sound Source. Bernunzio Uptown Music, located in Rochester's East End, has been providing Rochester and the world with quality used string instruments since 1976. Bernunzio also offers concerts, workshops, and jam sessions. This season, we're in this warm, local, and creative space, Bob Shop Records. Located right outside the city at 1460 Munner Avenue, Bob Shop Records is your home for blues, classic rock, jazz, and classical in vinyl for the past 35 years. Row Photo is your Rochester home for photo, home theater installation, audio, and accessory needs. For three generations since 1898, Row Photo is there for you with second to none customer service. Stop by Row Photo's two convenient locations today. Trusted by musicians, recording engineers, and consumers, SoundSource is the place to go for instruments, gear, consignment needs, repairs, and to have all your questions answered by knowledgeable and friendly staff. Visit them at 161 Norris Drive for all things audio today. Additional support for the Rochester Indie Musician Spotlight comes from Three Heads Brewing and Joe Bean Coffee Roasters. Of course, this is Tom Mahoney, the fearless leader, course. songwriter, fearless. guitarist, singer of Grand Canyon Rescue yes. episode. Tom, thanks for joining me today, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, but first, let's just make sure we know everyone in the band. It's Steve Day on vocals and dobro, Miles McHugh on guitar, Ron Promota on bass and vocals, and Jim McAvaney on drums. I think we got everybody. I think we got everybody. Sometimes you have uh, last-minute sit-ins, but you didn't. You you saved my heart, and yeah. you didn't. You didn't do that. Yeah, no. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, so, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your musical background? Uh, sure. I uh, grew up in downstate Long Island, mm. and. Um, didn't start playing guitar until I was in college, first year of college, but I always wrote songs for whatever reason, mm -hmm. always connected to music. And um, when I came up here, I played in a few bands, and I happened to meet uh, Ron maybe 20 years ago. We started playing together, maybe mm -hmm. 20 some odd years ago, and I uh, knew Jimmy Mack through Call of Blind James. Right. And very organically, this band came together, and here we are. Very cool. So, can you tell us a little about your musical influences? Uh, they're very vast, so I love Billie Holiday, and mm -hmm. I love Black Sabbath. So right. Everything in between <laughs> there. Uh, so, I, you know, I grew up, um, Thomas Patrick Brian Mahoney, I heard the Clancy Brothers going, right. you know? Yeah. And, uh, and Herb Albert, and things like that. Mm -hmm. and I always loved hearing music when I went to sleep. Right. I used to ask my mother to play music when I went to sleep. And then from there, uh, like any kid in the 70s, that was a very eclectic time mm. of music. So mm -hmm. you had everything from the kind of hard rock stuff to the jazz fusion stuff to singer-songwriter stuff. And it, would, it really all melded into liking so many different types of music. Yeah. And um, you know, to this day, I can listen to, again, it could be Billie Holiday a one day, and it can be a new band, Rival Sons, which is like a hard right. rock band. Cool. So what drew you to this sort of folk rock sound that Grand Canyon's playing now? Um, really it was, uh, I got turned on to Uncle Tupelo, mm. I got turned on to Sun Vault and uh, Wilco, mm. and then from there, just like through the Rolling Stones, I found out who Jimmy Reed was, and I found out who these people were. From there you kind of work backwards and you get into Towns Van Zandt, you right. get into Guy Clark, you get into Steve Earle, you get to all these people and there's a whole treasure trove of music back there. Yeah. And I was I knew the surface of it, but not deeply, and so right. I got into it, uh, circumstances had in a band I was in, somebody got in an accident, they could not play, mm. um, so I was going to be sidelined for a little while, 
and I felt like doing something different anyway, got into this music and thought we I called up Ron and we started writing some songs. And That's a great transition. Yeah. The next sort of thing you mentioned it happened organically. You met you met a couple of these guys. Out. Um, if I if I'm not mistaken, there's a there's a bit of a backstory with uh, you guys and our friends at Abilene and, and Danny yes. Deutsch about the open mic the week the regular open mic night experience. So when we first were getting together, when Abilene first opened, uh, somebody had told me about the bar, so I went there to go check it out. It's got a, had a great jukebox at that time. It used to have a pool table area. Yeah. And uh, I told the guys before practice, let's go over to Abilene. I want you to check it out. We happen to have our instruments with us. Hmm. And so we were sitting there, and uh, we were going to talk maybe for 10 minutes, check out the bar. But a few years later, we were there for a little <laughs> while. And we just asked them, do you mind if we set up in the corner and start playing? We have our stuff here. And we just started doing that. And then we came back the next week, and then we started hosting an open mic. And Wow. It lasted about three years, maybe. Um, and when we stopped, you know, I think I was joking yeah. about we we didn't get fired, which we couldn't because we were never actually hired. Right. Um, we just you made the transition to it, that else. organically dissolved too. Yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, as organic as it started. Well, now come on, sweet Gabriel, and blow on your horn. Fire and the brimstone and the impending storm. Well, the king is coming with a crown full of thorns. Gabriel, blow on. Before it's too late, well, St. Peter is there and is holding the gate. Well, Gabriel, blow on your horn. I'm a man of contradictions. I walk on both sides of the line. We'll, we'll talk about how organic this band is and, and the, the, uh, the, the hilarious way in which you guys function from, from gig to gig. But one thing I wanted to touch on, uh, in addition, to yourself and, and, and Jim McAvaney from Colorblind James Experience. This band actually has, a, on an individual member basis, a lot of depth mm -hmm. in, the, in the Rochester music scene here. And, and for you guys, just it must be refreshing coming in and just doing something that, that's fun and isn't so much in the web of everything. Yeah, we, uh, I think we have a good time together. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, we don't take ourselves too seriously, and that's an understatement. <laughs> um, we get up and try a lot of things. We, we like to kind of wing a lot of things. Right. And um, we have our own way of doing things. And this particular way of doing things, which I, I was completely unaware of until our production meeting, is, um, is what is best I can describe as near entropy. Yes. Complete and utter randomness almost to an extent. Yeah. Everything from not telling a band member what songs you're going to play to deciding the set list on the bandstand to... Remembering CDs and not remembering CDs. Um, it seems to me, as someone who's detail-oriented, it might just be better to practice and it, figure it out ahead of time. Yeah, we were going to have a meeting about that. We just don't get around to it. <laughs> exactly. So we, uh, we're, we have a, a complementary version of group ADD. So we get together with the intent of doing something. It turns into a lot of laughs and then goes fizzles out and turns into... And stuff happens. Planning another meeting, yes. That's right. Yeah. Which sort of leads to my next question is, how on earth did you guys get two records done? We got three records done. How, how did you get three <laughs> records done? Um, uh, very randomly. <laughs> so... Wouldn't expect anything Yeah, Yeah, we, we, the first one, we had the material, we kind of went in and really did it uh, pretty quickly. It was pretty live. Hmm. Um, from there, we had kind of gone in, I had some song ideas, and um, I started a little studio in my house, mm. so that helped right. and hurt. Um, right. <coughs> that's a, a vicious circle you can go down, and we had some help from outside studios get us in, but we can be focused when we want. Right. We just try everything to avoid that. <laughs> it's a last, last uh, resort to be focused. Right, yeah. and um, all of these CDs contain mostly your tunes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about your songwriting process? Uh, sure. Um, you know, a process, to me, mm. and everyone does it different, is more about getting out of the way. So uh, it's like an antenna. Things come in. You have an idea. Sometimes you'll hear a phrase. Mm. You'll hear a, uh, some thing will get in your, in your head, and you'll just spit it out. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not... Um, you know, I don't. I don't tend to spend a lot of time on it. I don't question it. Right. It is what it is. 
And so I write an awful lot of songs. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, they, other guys write great songs. Mm -hmm. They really do. But I'm just more volume. Right. Volume. So exactly. It's, inspiration is always there. I love music. I think the antenna for ideas is always out there. Mm -hmm. But it's not a process where I don't sit down and say, I'm going to go write a song right now. Right, and the, with the organic approach, you don't go into rehearsal saying, okay, I wrote this song, this is how I wanted to go. Do you guys just sort of jam on some of your material before yeah. it comes to the final product? Yeah, so, yeah. for yeah. example, in the sound check, we tried something yeah. that was brand new that Miles hadn't heard before, and we'll kind of work <laughs> on that a little bit, um, and we throw things like that at people, yes. That's exactly. Uh, before we go on to the lightning round here, are there any recording projects or anything you want to tease? We're, well, we're in the process right now. Of, there's a bunch of songs recorded, so we're kind of going to, uh, we're going to have a meeting, right? <laughs> we got, a, we got an, uh, an idea. We talked about having a meeting last night. Right. And then we even laughed at that. But, um, <laughs> the idea now is to have a meeting and weed through all the things we have, decide right. what works, what doesn't, what we want to re-record, and then hopefully have something out sometime in the next 20 to 30 years. That seems like a pretty reasonable time for We like to keep our expectations in that. You know. Right, in, in a reasonable... It could be tomorrow. It could be... 2050. Who knows? Wouldn't expect anything less. All right, let's give Tom a round of applause. He got through most of the questions here. What will I do when the light is upon me? What will I do when my love hits the air? What will I do when I reach through the darkness? Only to find you not there. For those who've seen, seen the show before, you know what this is. This is the lightning round. Three big picture questions, but feel free to, to take your time. Okay. So we really shouldn't call it the lightning round. I, there's just, I don't have a better name for it. So let's hit it. If you could accomplish one thing in music and be happy, what would it be? Uh, one thing in music and be happy. I don't want to die with the song still in my head. That's a good one. Uh, what makes Rochester such a great place for original music to live and breathe? Um been around for a long time. It wasn't always as friendly as it is now. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's a small town city. Right. So there's access from the suburbs to get in and see different types of music. Right. Whether you're in a band or you want to see it, you can come in, see a set and leave. Right. So you're not trapped in there. It's also this is a very artsy city. Mm. Lots of musicians, lots of artists around. Yeah. Um, and I think that if you and I sat down we probably know a hundred of the same people. So the, right. the music community is very tight-knit. Even people with 20, 25 years age experience or differential will have one degree of separation. Exactly. Yeah, we all kind of know each other. And one more for you. Do you have any advice for aspiring artists? Uh, for expi aspiring artists, I'd say uh, find out who you are and be sincere to that. That's good. Tom, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I'm Dan Gross. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Rockers Music Musicians Follow. And ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause for Tom and Grand Canyon Rescue episode. This episode was mixed by owner and operator of Wicked Squid Studios, Josh Pettinger. Please visit their website to find out how you can become a member of their studio today. This episode is brought to you by Bob Shop Records, Bernunzio Uptown Music, Row Photo, and Sound Source. Bernunzio Uptown Music, located in Rochester's East End, has been providing Rochester and the world with quality used string instruments since 1976. Bernunzio also offers concerts, workshops, and jam sessions. This season, we're in this warm, local, and creative space, Bob Shop Records. Located right outside the city at 1460 Munner Avenue, Bob Shop Records is your home for blues, classic rock, jazz, and classical in vinyl for the past 35 years. Row Photo is your Rochester home for photo, home theater installation, audio, and accessory needs. For three generations since 1898, Row Photo is there for you with second to none customer service. Stop by Row Photo's two convenient locations today. Trusted by musicians, recording engineers, and consumers, SoundSource is the place to go for instruments, gear, consignment needs, repairs, and to have all your questions answered by knowledgeable and friendly staff. Visit them at 161 Norris Drive for all things audio today. Additional support for the Rochester Indie Musician Spotlight comes from Three Heads Brewing and Joe Bean Coffee Roasters.
Thank you.
for you, Dan. A born in life illusion I woke up before it's too late I took my best shot at redemption But I've struggled with a shift in my faith Changing don't always come easy And I've been no match for my pride I took all my strength To loosen my grip and push back away from the tide What will I do when the light is upon me? What will I do when my love hits the air? What will I do when I reach through the darkness? Find you not there. A born in a life of delusion. Oh, won't you take it from me? I took my best shot at redemption, and I found what I needed to be. Judge your road that's behind you And yeah, don't live for nobody else Get every last drop Of every last day before you start asking yourself What will I do when the light is upon me? What will I do when my love hits the air? What will I do when I reach to the darkness? Only to find Cause changing don't always come easy 
And I was no match for my pride It took all my strength To loosen my grip And push back away from the tide What will I do when the line is upon me? What will I do when my love hits the air? What will I do when I reach through the darkness? Only to find you're not there What will I do when the line is upon me? What will I do when my love hits the air? What will I do when I reach through the darkness? Only to find you're not there Yeah, only to find you're not there Yeah, only to find, yeah Yeah, only Yeah, only to find you're not Yeah, only to find Yeah, only to find you're not there Yeah, only to find, This episode was mixed by owner and operator of Wicked Squid Studios, Josh Pettinger. Please visit their website to find out how you can become a member of their studio today. This episode is brought to you by Bob Shop Records, Bernunzio Uptown Music, Row Photo, and Sound Source. Bernunzio Uptown Music, located in Rochester's East End, has been providing Rochester and the world with quality used string instruments since 1976. Bernunzio also offers concerts, workshops, and jam sessions. This season, we're in this warm, local, and creative space, Bob Shop Records. Located right outside the city at 1460 Munner Avenue, Bob Shop Records is your home for blues, classic rock, jazz, and classical in vinyl for the past 35 years. Row Photo is your Rochester home for photo, home theater installation, audio, and accessory needs. For three generations since 1898, Row Photo is there for you with second to none customer service. Stop by Row Photo's two convenient locations today. Trusted by musicians, recording engineers, and consumers, SoundSource is the place to go for instruments, gear, consignment needs, repairs, and to have all your questions answered by knowledgeable and friendly staff. Visit them at 161 Norris Drive for all things audio today. Additional support for the Rochester Indie Musician Spotlight comes from Three Heads Brewing and Joe Bean Coffee Roasters. Why?
Jimmy Mac up on the... Do a little something different here. Miles is going to play drums. First time ever. I 
Oh, she loved me till the sun comes up And I'm so glad she's mine I got a brown-eyed woman on my mind Yeah! Just like in practice. There's a song called Left Hand off the Lucky Dollar CD. No, no. But I've told the story a bunch of times. So I was in West Virginia one time. There's a place called Left Hand, West Virginia. I was with some friends driving up past where there was no electricity and no paved roads. And uh, we were going to a swimming hole. And uh, the person said, uh, I said, where are we? He's like, we're in left-hand West Virginia. He's like, there's a town on the other side of the mountain. You know what that's called? I was like, well, let me guess. Right hand? And he said, no, nope, that's called left hand too. <laughs> that's where that came from.
never stop to smell the roses I only feel alive the phone for so long Yeah, yeah, Think it's true. I give my love and all my heart and everything to you. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I do believe there's times a man has got to lay it on the line. Lay it on the line. Yeah, just lay it Scared of the thunder, and I don't mind the rain. Tell me that your heart is pounding, and all you feel is the pain again and again. Yeah, yeah.
Thank you. Of time. 